Hey Truth Seekers, this is Carolyn Wisecup here, and I'm going to be playing a game of solo mode with the new pre-released Red Letter Day. So, what we're going to do is take our small deck of solo cards here. Uh, there is 15 cards in this deck, and we're going to go ahead and set those up here. We are not going to be using our Cine token for this game. So I have already laid out our Hardened Heart track with the die and the marker. I have my scorecards here. And so just to remember how to play the solo campaign. So we're going to prepare, prepare our deck by removing all the sinnies and create a sinny deck using the ones that we removed from your own deck or just a combination of sinny cards. So for solo mode, you don't need sinnies in your own deck. Um, you remove those and that is what you're playing against as if that was your opponent. Or you can just use a collection of sinny cards, but you do want to go ahead and remove all the sinnies from your deck. So we're going to shuffle the Search Your Heart solo deck and place it right next to your sinny deck, keeping your hardened heart tracking cube and die within reach. So the objective is similar to if you were playing a regular game of defeating six sinnies or 60 virtue points before reaching the end of the hardened heart track, which would be 30 points for your opponent. So what we're going to do here is let's do eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Let's go with Treshel first. And so we're going to go ahead and toss her open right here. Now, put that off to the side. First thing we're going to do is go in and remove all of our sinnies. And then we're going to remove our two truth seekers and then shuffle this. Oh, somebody got some of these cards upside down. Shuffle our deck really well. We uh, ended up playing with some family members, a three person variant the other day. Um, Nathaniel and I had our new decks, and his nephew, Brandon, had the Stagnetic deck. Uh, we went ahead and re-put together our starter decks, um, since we didn't still have those put together, since we've kind of taken them apart and put them into other decks that we use, things like that. So we wanted to see how these starter decks pair up against each other. And due to a couple misplays on our part, um, Brandon ended up winning, actually, which was awesome. Um, Stagnetic still does prove to be extremely strong, um, just starter deck variant wise. So, um, some of the new Red Letter Day cards I do believe are going to be more powerful, um, and then like with the upgraded Luminies and such. But right now, just the way that they are, extremely powerful deck still. Um, and like I said, you know, we had actually made a couple of misplays cause it was more of a teaching thing that we were doing. So we weren't like super paying attention to our decks, things like that. Um, you know, there's a bunch of kids running around, Levi messing around and crying and ending up tipping a, a, a blah, 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 game box all over himself and toys and all that. And that was fun. So, you know, different things like that were little distractions and whatnot, um, so definitely we weren't playing our best for sure. So we do intend to do it again um, with a more, uh, just less distractions. So let's see. So what I'm going to do here is I want to pick my Truth Seeker very correctly here. Um, let me shuffle these real quick. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Cool. So there are six Cinnies right here. I'm going to lay them in my Cine pile. And so, Yana, every Cine revealed to you has its base defense reduced by two points. Or, Brianna, you get to separate any three cards from your deck and place them beneath this card. Once per turn, you may take one of those cards. One of, once these cards are gone, this card has no ability. So, I think in this purpose, normally I would use Brianna because in a challenge game, um, player versus player, I have actually decided that with using Brianna, it is extremely helpful to put sinnies underneath of her. And that way, like, you have a sinny anytime you need to stop somebody. Um, and so I actually don't have to carry as many sinnies in my deck because of that. So I can add other cards in there. Um, so that is actually a really good use for her. You can also put, like, power cards if you needed them. 
because power is still a thing that sometimes you just don't draw in too well. But for this case, because I'm doing a solo mode and very cine based, I'm going to go ahead and use Yana. So I'm going to put her up here. And like I said, I shuffled this one, I shuffled this one, and I shuffled this one. So I'm going to go ahead and begin by drawing my traditional five cards. So I do not have a power to place down. However, I'm going to go ahead and lay down Hybrid there. And I'm going to go ahead and lay down Mongaroo. I'm going to go ahead and place the Myrrh underneath Hybrid, which reduces its cost to simply the single universal cost. I'm going to lay down Mercifier. And I'm going to actually use Mercifier's ability. So if this card is in your small group, you may choose to swap it with a level 1 animal from your deck with victory points of 7 or less. So I'm actually going to go in here and search for my Saltini level 1 and replace it and then shuffle my deck. So what I'm doing because of that is Saltini level 2 has a great ability. It is similar to the Repent in the first set. So I know that I am basically going to be facing a Cine next turn just due to how this works. So I'm going to go ahead and lay this down, but I am not going to grow it yet. So because my growth is what allows me to do that. So I'm not going to do this one yet. Um, so I'm just going to hold that in my hand here. Since I only have the one power, I am just going to go ahead and use that for the universal cost on Hybrid. Go ahead and just go ahead and get three points. So now. Now that my turn is over, the way that this works is you are going to reveal the top card of the Harden Your Heart, or the uh, so <coughs> excuse me, Solo Mode deck, which in this case says, roll the dice and advance on the Hardened Heart track accordingly. Roll twice if you're currently facing a Cine. So this would actually be my opponent. So instead of my opponent facing off against me and all this sort of stuff, I'm gonna get four on the Hardened Heart track. And I'm going to go ahead and put that one above my deck here. All right, so now it is my turn again. I am not facing a Cine. Two, three, four. So I am actually going to go ahead and keep this one in my hand still because I want to get rid of that Cine when it pops up. Um, excuse me. Doot, doot. All right, I'm actually going to put my equipment card here on... Let's go on Mongaroo. So this one, the Tools of the Trade, actually, it gains two virtue points when activated. Or if it's activated against a Cine, which is active, it gains four. So I'm actually going to do that because that one's going to make this one a lot more worthwhile for me. Um, ooh. All right. So what I'm going to do, I'm, again, going to hold on to both of these. I am going to play my Mercifier, and I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to put it back in here, and I'm going to go get my Treshaw level 1, since I have the level 3 in my hand. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then while I'm at it, I'm going to go ahead and play my Story card. So I get to look at the top 7 cards of my deck once I've oop, shuffled it here. So we actually don't have these sleeved yet, and it really bugs me because I'm always like worried I'm going to grab an edge of them or something. But they don't fit in the nice little box with the sleeves on them yet, so we were like, kind of like, eh, do we really want to sleeve them yet? I don't know. Anyway, so one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Four, five, six, seven. Okay, and I get to put this directly into my power pool. You can do up to two, but I only had the one. And shuffle my deck afterwards. <laughs> all right now so I'm gonna hopefully try and get that second level of her in here all right so now that I do have two power cards out there I am gonna go ahead and play my mongaroo 
and go ahead and get six points out of that. So that would put me up to nine. Woo! Okay. So now it's the end of my turn. I'm going to go ahead and pass it to my solo mode here. Reveal a Cinny. If a Cinny is already active, roll the dice twice instead. So we have revealed Merkay. As long as the Cinny is active, your opponent may draw no more than two cards during their draw phase, regardless of hand size. Which is super rude, but that is okay. I only had two cards here, so I was only going to be able to draw three anyway. But that's okay. Now, remembering my Truth Seeker, so she negs any Cinny by two. So Merkay is only going to be six to defeat. So I'm going to draw my two cards here. Awesome, awesome. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use my Lost and Found, okay? So, I'm going to use that, and I get to search my deck for any one card. So, the card that I really need to see is my second level of Treshel. So, I'm going to go get that one. Now, I cannot play it or discard it this turn, but that's okay. I know I'll have it for next turn to actually get into that. So, I'm going to shuffle that. Discard my story card. All right. But I do have another Saltini level one. Now, what I'm going to do is... All right. I'm going to go ahead and grow my Saltini. And it's going to return the Cine to the hand of the player. So what I'm assuming is that it's just going to return this Cine to the deck. I will have to clarify this with because it says hand and solo mode doesn't really have a hand, but for all intents and purposes, what I'm assuming that it's going to be is that you just return it to the deck. Um, so I'm actually going to return it to the deck, but I'm going to shuffle it back in. Um, that again, we don't really know the proper ruling on that, but that's just how I'm going to do it for the moment until we can get a ruling on that particular card. Um, because it could possibly just be put back on the top of it. I don't know, because, like, if you're putting it back into your opponent's hand, they have that to reveal on you next turn. And so, you know, if they want to, or, you know, another person if you're playing multiples. So it could just be you put it back on the top, but I don't know how that's going to work. So I'm just going to shuffle it for now because that just sounds the most logical to me. Um, so I'm going to do that. And then, again, I can't grow this this turn, so I'm just going to hold these in my hand. And I am going to go ahead and play my Saltini here. Because I want to wait and possibly grow him if I can. And he gets me more points. So I'm going to go ahead and play him and get eight points. All right. And now it would be my opponent's turn. Reveal a Cine if able and roll one die. Okay, so we're going to reveal a Cine and it's House Divided. When this card is revealed, your opponent must shuffle half the animal from their small group back into their deck, rounding up. So if you were to have three cards in your small group, you would basically shuffle that down to one is what I'm assuming. So I'm revealed that to myself. But he is only a four to defeat. But since I want to use my Treshell, I'm going to go ahead and shuffle my Saltini back. All right, here. Okay. Oh, redo my power here. But now, since, uh, oh wait. Right, that was that's turn. Uh, roll the die. I forgot that. Five. All right. Oof, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so now that my opponent's turn is done, I'm going to draw three to get up to five. Woo, power. Okay. Put that in my power pool. Do, 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 do. So, I'm not going to use this one this turn, but I'm going to keep it. So I am going to go ahead and grow my Treshell into level two and then bloop, into level three. So she actually counts as two love power during your score phase, but you can't activate her in the same turn. So I technically have five power now that I could use if I wanted to. 
I am going to go ahead and lay down Quillow, but I'm going to hold on to this one because next turn I can grow Quillow if I want to. So, now that's interesting. Mm -hmm. Huh, I'm going to have to ask on this. That, that's, I had an interesting thought. So, it says that you can search your deck for up to two growth stages for an Anima in your small group and grow that Anima. It doesn't say that it has to be a level two and a level three. I'm wondering if I could possibly search for two of Quillow's growths because Quillow actually can grow into any of the other colors at this point. And it, it says to grow it, but it doesn't say I have to use both of them to grow it. So I'm going to actually have to ask on that. That's something interesting. But anyway, I'm going to hold that here. Um, so it's only a four to defeat Karak. So I am just going to go ahead and spend one right here to go ahead. No, am I? No, I'm actually not because um, I want to see if I can grow that next turn. So I'm not going to do that. Erase what I just said. Anyway, ooh, that hurts. Okay, so this is a hardened heart, similar to a hindrance card. So, attaching this card to your active Cinny. If no active Cinny is present, reveal a Cinny and attach this card. So, this Cinny's defense gains 7. So, he is now a 4 because of Yana. But now he is plus 7, which hurts. So, now he is an 11. Alright. But I don't have to roll a die, so that's nice. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and draw my 4 cards here. 3 and 4. Very nice, very nice. So, Treshel, I'm gonna grow Treshel. Boop. Um, boop, 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 boop. So, to use the mustard seed, it is for a animo in your small group. So, I what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place Saltini here. Um, I don't have a lot of room because my camera stand here. Let me move this over here. Boop. Because if I do the saltini thing again, I could get rid of that. Or, Bishop, it's okay. There's nobody at the door. Hush. All right. Um, so, but I have to discard two cards in my hand to do that. If I don't have the two cards to discard, I can't do this one. So, I'm actually not going to play this one right now. Because I only have this one to discard. So, what I am going to go ahead and do, though is I am going to play, I'm going to play Treshel as two power to play my Saltini. And I'm going to play these two to play my Treshel level two, which gets me exactly 11 points to defeat my Karak plus the seven. So I'm going to put those there. I officially defeated one. So... I put, oh, I'm going to put my defeated Cinny over here. Nope. Toss that one up here, and I have defeated one. Cool. So, now it's my opponent's turn. So, reveal a Cinny and roll one die. So, I revealed Merkay again. So, I can only draw two cards, which is fine. Um, I'm going to roll my dice here, and it is a one. So, I'm now at a ten. Bishop, hush. There's nobody at the door. All right, so now I'm going to renew my power here. And I'm going to go ahead and draw two cards, which both happen to be love. Okay. Put one of them down here. I can't do that yet, but I am going to go ahead and use my mustard seed now that I have two cards. So I'm going to discard these two cards from my hand and search for up to two growth stages. Since I do not know if you can actually draw like two of, you know, something, so yet, <laughs> I'm going to see, let's see, I have my, all right, so which one do I want? Do -lo -lo, or, okay. So I'm actually going to grow into this Quillow. So I'm gonna grab that one. Mainly because right now I do have power, but I want to have, um, 
I, I would rather have the points at this point. So the power is nice, but I already have a power card, or I had a power card in my hand. Um, but I'm not hurting for power at the moment. So I'm going to go ahead and do this one and grow it. Boop. So I can activate the fellowship bonus as long as this card is activated in a faith, hope, or love level one animo. Um, I don't have the level one animo yet though. So I can't go ahead and use this one and get that extra points, but I'm hopefully going to have that next turn. So I am going to go ahead and play Treshel. So I'm going to throw her out there and I'm going to go ahead and get six points because remember Merkay is an eight, but it's minus two. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And I have used that and defeated my second Cinny. Scoot him over and reveal my next card. Reveal a Cinny. If a Cinny is already active, roll the dice twice instead. So I'm going to reveal, and that's going to be Globster. Oof. Okay, so as long as the Cinny remains active, your opponent must discard the top card in their deck as soon as their turn begins before drawing any cards. That stinks. So, discard my top card, which was a Servidude. One, two, three, four, and a five. Okay. So, let's see what I want to do here. Love or Holy Spirit. So, I'm going to play my Servidude, first of all. Uh... Bishop, that was rude. Okay, I'm going to discard my hindrance because I don't want to hinder myself. Um, and let's see. I'm going to go ahead and use Mercifier. And I'm going to go look and see if there's anything that I want to grab. Um, I could do that and get extra points. Um... <laughs> So, if I did Razbear, I wouldn't get the Fellowship bonus this turn. But this one would be neg to cost. So, I'm going to just go ahead and do this one because it's going to be better for my cost right now. So, I'm going to grab Saltini and put my Mercifier back in here. Okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and lay down my Saltini and my Quillow. Again, I'm going to hold on to my Raspberry here. So, all right. So, I've got three level ones. So, I get the Fellowship bonus if I play him this turn. Um, this one is only going to cost me one because I have a Holy Spirit and a Love here. So, this says this card is less one power to activate for each... Um, love or Holy Spirit in my small group. So this one's only going to cost me one. So what I'm going to do here is pay two for my Saltini and I'm going to pay whoop no that's not what I wanted to do. Sorry. I'm going to pay two for my Quillow I'm going to pay one for my Servidude. And I'm going to pay one for my Quillow. Because that's going to give me the most points. Alright. So. I only needed eight to win. Or to defeat Globster. So. I have. Seven points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Which puts me exactly at 30. And I have defeated my. Oh, no, wait. Ha, ha. Hang on. You were a 10, not a 7. So, 2. I got 10 points. 3. Okay, my bad, because my brain is not braining right now. All right, so that's my third Cine defeated. Doot, doot. All right. Attach this card to your active Cine. If no Cine is present, reveal a Cine and attach this card. Boom! All right, we have blinders. When the Cine is revealed, blindly select one card from your opponent's hand and have them discard it. So, since 
I don't have an opponent, and I am not playing against an opponent. I am, I mean, I only have the one card. So, to be fair, what I think should happen is that I should discard this one. Um, that's just how I feel that this should go. So, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So, since I can't really blindly do it, that's what I'm going to do because I feel like that's the most logical thing to do in a solo mode when I'm not facing the opponent. So, that was my opponent's turn. Um, yeah. So, I'm going to go ahead and draw my five, two, three, four, and five. Perfect, perfect. So, the first thing I'm going to do is play a love here. I'm going to play my Servidude. Alright. I'm going to play my Mercifier, but again, I'm going to go back and do the same thing. I'm going to go get my Hybrid Level 1 instead, because I feel like that's going to be the best idea here. So I can go ahead and grow it. I'm going to go ahead and grow my hybrid, and this says when it's played to grow hybrid level 1, you may search your deck for one standard power card and place it in your power pool. So let's go search here. What does I want? Well, since it's the only one left here, I'm going to do that one. Bloop. Cool. Now I have all my power, so I'm going to go ahead and discard that one, which is fine. Okay. Okay. So, this is only going to cost me one, because again, I have one Holy Spirit and one love out here. So, I'm going to play two for my Voltini. I'm going to pay two for my Hybrid. And I'm going to pay one for my Servidude. That gives me 15, and I am facing 14, so I get all of, woo, one point. Okay, so I've defeated my fourth Cinny. Woo! Okay, I'm gonna renew my power here real quick. Bloop, 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 and a bloop. Reveal a Cinny, of course. Okay, all right. Hippocritter. As long as a Cinny remains active, the actions of your opponent's virtuous animal have no effect. All right, so I have no actions, which is the black ones. Two, three, four, and five. Okay, let's lay down a Quillow and a Raspberry and a Treshell. And I'm going to go ahead and draw two cards using fishing nets. One, two. Boop. Now. So this does not have any effect because Hippocritter is out here, but I can still grow Quillow. So I am going to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to grow Quillow. And I'm going to leave Saltini here. Uh, -ba -ba okay. Lay down, Bishop. All right, so Hippocritter is only seven to defeat. So what I can do is do one two to play my raspberry boop so i've defeated that now one for my trash and one for my quillow so i get six points one two three four five six and i have defeated my fifth all right let's get a little hinky here Roll the dice twice and advance on the hardened hard track accordingly. Okay. Five, one, two, three, four, five. And a four. Okay. One, two, three, four. That hurts, but it's not too bad. Okay. Three, four. Okay. One, two, and three. Woo, okay. We're getting a little uh little scary here. Okay. We're gonna lay down Mercifier. 
Um. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and just draw two cards, which happens to be the end of my deck. So this can be my last turn. All right, so I either have to get 20 points or I lose. Cool, okay. <sighs> Mercifier. Lay down my Razbear, but I cannot play my Saltini because I have no way to actually grow my Saltini. So. Well, the best I can do is 18 points. <laughs> All right. Because neither one of those are low. Mm, that's rude. Okay. And there's that. And that. And that does not get me there. So 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. So does not get me there. But let's just see how this works. I'm going to roll it on the track accordingly. Oop. <laughs> That's the wrong one. Four. One, two, three, four. It puts me at 23. It is now my turn, but I cannot draw. And I cannot play any of my cards. So I have actually officially lost my game of Hardened Heart. Because... Once you have decked out, which I have now decked out of my deck, I have officially decked out of the Hardened Heart deck, and I have not defeated my sixth city, and I have no way to reveal it on myself. So I have technically lost, even though I have not actually lost. So I did not reach the 30 points on the Hardened Heart track. I did not win, but like I said, I decked out, I defeated five sinnies. Um, so yeah, that's, sometimes that happens. It is very rare that that happens. Um, being that this is only a 54 card starter deck, that is also one of the things. Had I had a full 60 card deck of something, then that would have been fine. I would have had more uh, animo. I would have probably not had the hindrance card in here, possibly, you know, possibly running less story cards. Just however you're actually going to make that deck. So playing solo mode can also help you figure out like what you need to take out, what you need to add, um, just how you want to actually make your own deck. Um, taking apart the uh, starter deck, rebuilding it, adding different things, kind of doing your own thing. Um, the starter decks are fantastic and... I, I love how they're set up, but this game is meant to be played around with. You know, it's meant to be a trading card game. We're, we're meant to play around with it, do things with it, add, subtract, kind of make it our own. Um, it's very encouraged. That's why they have the ability to do so with the extra cards that they put out. Um, you can mix sets two and three. You can mix sets one in there. Um, they are going to be phasing out set one for competitive play. But, you know, it's still a home if you still want to play with that. Things that, like, you know, Nathaniel and I do, it's all still great. So, unfortunately, there was no win situation in this deck, but that is okay. So, that is going to be our Treshell deck against Solo Mode. So, that is the end of that one. And I will be back next time with the Percy deck. So, Truth Seekers, keep defeating Sinnies and learning virtues.